Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage, and today we got to change water pump. And yeah, this is a new water pump, made new, best made, no, that's not right, uh, cheapest made water pump I could find on Amazon. So, there's the number, yep, and of course made in China. It seems to be made pretty good though, it sure feels good. I, uh, already glued down the gasket. I'll we'll have to compare it to the one I take off. I don't really know what the one is that I put on there probably five years ago now. So it finally failed. And yeah, I got to put a water pump on. But uh, the prices of these things are crazy. And I'm poor right now. So, you know, I have to go and get myself a, I think it was 20, 26 bucks at uh, huh, Amazon. So I took it. It was the first one on the page, 26 bucks, bang, done. Let's test her out. Let's put her on and see how well it works. That's just the way I'm doing it on this one. Uh, well, what are we gonna do here though? We gotta get down here, remove the strut brace because the water pump is under there somewhere. And uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to do it when it was out of the vehicle. That's when I did it last. The engine was out of the vehicle. So, great. Um, gotta move some stuff around here and then we'll get back. So, let's see if I can get these out first. Use my cordless impact, see if I can get these. It's, those are not 14. No, those are no, 15. So, we'll try for 15. Don't know if it has enough mustard. Good. Nice. Seems pretty strong. This Ryobi one? Ah. Uh, good tool. I use it all the time. Alright. Uh, I got no bucket or anything for these. Uh, they can just go there. This. That can just be placed out of the way. Um, this bracket here looks like it's 12. I want it out of the way too, so I'll get a 12. So this bracket here is actually 13. Getting uh, all this stuff out of the way is kind of a pain. Right. Fall down there. Thank you very much. I'll have to look for you later. Doesn't make me too happy. together. Well, that was just a small bracket here that holds the strut uh, dampener in place. Now, I'm gonna want to, before I take the belt off, I am devil, def, what word am I looking for? Definitely gonna want to uh, undo those screws, uh, bolts, to the pulley. So I hope you can see down there. It's right here. Oh, those are very tight at all. those onto what they were supposed to be and it ain't much.
Now, now. There we go. Now, I gotta get that belt off. Okay, I got a special tool for that. So we're down with that belt. Let me get back here a little. I got a special tool. It's a long bar with a uh, little 3 8 fitting on it. And I bought this many years ago. Way more than I can remember. And usually it just fits right in here. Like that. And there we go. Just pull ahead. There we go. Let me see here. Hopefully I can get this thing back on here later. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, let's just move everything out of the way. This belt is pretty shot too. That was new back then. Looks pretty shot. So there. Uh, now what? Well, I gotta get that. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Well, I got those bolts out of. Should just just fall off is pretty well what it say it's gonna do. So there we go. Yeah, still in good shape. That's good. And I only dropped two bolts down there, so now I gotta go fish for them. So they are 13 millimeter bolts in here, which is just great. I can't remember how long they are, but I'm sure they're way too long. And doing this outside of the vehicle was the best way to do it. You know what happened there. I'm gonna get a smaller ratchet. That one's way too big. So there we are. There she is down there. I'm just trying to get this thing to stay put. My stand doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. All right, maybe that'll work. I just got I got all the bolts on. I'm just gonna pop her off. Let's hope I did this right. And. She'll just pop right off, right? Oh, she will. Look at that. Okay. I guess I did it right when I put it on. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I did use some... Uh, I did do some stupid stuff. And use some stuff on it. But I can scrape her off. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, I guess we'll compare her to the new one so i'm guessing you can see where it was leaking it was leaking right look at how it is there um hmm. she was leaking right around out here so maybe out here somewhere well this is this face is down so that all that stainness there is where it was leaking and it was kind of pouring out now so it wasn't doing any good there's the new one. Looks like they're about the same. I didn't find a make on this one. Uh, all I found was a 1A on here. A 1A. So, I don't know who made this one. Maybe I put a cheap Chinese one on before too. I'm guessing that could have been true. But there is a date on this one. So, I don't know. Somebody made it. And, uh, well... It only lasted four years. Well, let me get all cleaned up in there. And hopefully I'll get this one back on. Simple. Not going to happen. So I sent my bolts through the bench grinder with the brush on it. And uh, I was laughing most of the time because it was working perfectly. And then I wasn't laughing as one got caught. I was holding them with the vice grip as one got caught and shot down at my foot at over a hundred miles an hour. Took a shade off that and I did find it though. So there we go. I still have them. It's not damaged. 
So let us put this water pump in this engine. So I don't know what you're going to be able to see since I think the camera is going to be in my way half the time. Let's see if we can get this thing in here. Uh, I did clean it all up. So she is cleaned up really nice, I must say. Oh, right, I'm just going to put... I was going to put some of my... Uh, what is it called? Uh, thread sealing compound on some of these. Well, probably on all of these. And there, we're a little close. Let's back up here. Okay, that's better. So, a little bit of thread sealing compound down here. And that'll also help with lube. It going back in, hopefully. We'll have to see about that. Oh, that was nice. Windy out here today, by the way. Super windy. I hope you caught that. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure. Nice windy day. It's hot. It's windy. So, it's whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. Might sound terrible. Might sound just okay. Okay, I can't get down in there. There it is. Wow. I oh, yeah, found the hole, so that's a good thing, right? I'm not making any funny jokes on the final. Okay, I didn't put any compound on this one. The top one. And I will now. This hopefully will stop moisture from getting in it or anything like that. Alright, two more to go. Then I can snug them down and look for the Torx bed. I do have the book for this car. So, where's the book though? Yeah, it's around. I usually keep it in the garage somewhere. Where did this one go? Oh, in a spot I can't get to. So I'll do it last. Yeah, these things are going in nice. Good to wipe these, grind these bolts off with the brush. They go in so much nicer when you do that. So I might have to move the camera for this next one. Because I'm going to need to do some some movements of the body that my body just doesn't like to do and I'm gonna have to get twisted in around there so I did find my book and what do we got here water pump mounting bolts uh, water pump mounting bolts 89 inch pounds really 89 inch pounds water pump sprocket bolts 89 inch pounds uh, four cylinders get 18 foot pounds 89 inch pounds really for <laughs> uh, okay okay I, I guess I guess it's gonna be 89 inch pounds of course it might be more well there 89 inch pounds no need to show that that torque wrench is set to something totally different that looks like 12 pounds, 12 foot pounds, but yes, 89 inch pounds of pressure was applied to that, maybe a bit more. Not sure, 89 just didn't seem right, so more might have been applied. Now, I gotta get that pulley on. There we go, I got the pulley on too. Um, Tightened those up as good as I could right now until I get the belt back on. Then I can torque those to 89 inch pounds. So, is it inch pounds? Let me take a look. 
Oh wow, it is inch pounds to tighten those. Okay, inch pounds. So I had to look up the belt uh, diagram. Since my car's belt diagram has worn off many, many moons ago, and it doesn't have another one on here. So I looked it up and this one looks like the right one. So I'm gonna take it as the right one and I'm gonna put the belt on because I tried. I couldn't figure it out. It's like a puzzle and I'm not good with puzzles anymore. Well, I think I got it. Everything, I'm looking around here, everything. Yeah, a lot of tight places for these belts. Uh, this belt isn't on right. Okay, I gotta fix that. So now I gotta put this bracket back on. I'll get that on. Uh, maybe I'll tighten up those uh, pulley bolts first though. 